plans this gathering for worship can encompass many locations across the globe. We take a moment, pause, remember, and reflect upon our obligation as good treaty peoples to uphold the work of truth and reconciliation and to respect the history, spirituality, and culture of First Nations, Inuit, and Métis here in this place where the worship originates and in whichever place you join into this gathering from. I encourage you to find a place to sit comfortably and to take a moment to slow your breathing. After the reading tonight, there will be a time of silence. And during that silence, a suggested reflection theme will be displayed on your screen. God is our light and our salvation, our refuge and our stronghold. From the rising of the sun to its setting, we praise your name, O God. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light, we see light. Creator of the stars of night, your people's everlasting light. O Christ, Redeemer of us all, we pray you hear us when we fall. When this old world drew on toward night, you came but not in splendor bright, not as a monarch, but the child of Mary, blessed mother mild. At your great name, O Jesus, now all knees must bend, all hearts must bow, all things on earth with one accord, like those in heaven, shall call you holy. Come in your holy might, we pray. Redeem us for eternal day. Defend us while we dwell below from all assaults of our dread foe. To God the Creator, God the Son, and God the Spirit, Three in one, praise, honor, might, and glory be from age to age, eternally. Amen. May God be with you and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, 
For in the beginning you called light into being, and you set your light in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day, and in a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ, that your word may be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful, and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory, through your Holy One, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he comes, he will proclaim all things to us. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking to you. Filled with hope and gratitude, and filled with very God, I sing with soul and spirit exaltation, for God has smiled upon the humble servant who will give her own sweet milk to Christ, the world's salvation. God's eternal mercy, meant for all humankind, as given as deliverance from oppression. The power and haughty find that they are now cast down, and the lowly reigns beyond this world's derision. Hungry people eat good things and find an honorable place. The rich are sent away, though they are hungry, the promise to our forebears, God renews for us today. The world is filled with God's abundant mercy. Filled with hope and gratitude and filled with very God, I sing with soul and spirit exaltation. For God has smiled upon the humble servant who will give her own sweet milk to Christ, the world's salvation.
in peace, let us pray to our God. God have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to our God. God have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to our God. God have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who worship through here, their worship and praise, let us pray to our God. God have mercy. For the health of creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to our God. God have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to our God. God have mercy. For those who travel, and for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to our God. God have mercy. For deliverance in time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to our God. God have mercy. For Michael, Susan, Susan, Linda, Mark, and all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who await from their God great and abundant mercy, let us pray to our God. God have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious God. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our God. To you, O God. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, the peace that the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the Holy One in Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
God Almighty, God most merciful, bless you, keep you safe, and give you peace. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always.